hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well i thought i would just pick up the camera and do another little vlog today i am actually heading to hamburg really early tomorrow so i need to like get all my stuff together i need to do a load of washing i need to pack um and then yeah i'll be off tomorrow but i am going to bring you guys along to that as well so you will see that in the next vlog i'm sure but we have also had a few updates in the house we've been working on the snug like all weekend um so we've painted it we've literally just had the carpets fitted this morning obviously if you guys saw my last vlog you'll know that i am so determined to come back to youtube but i just had a really crap month to be honest like the whole of october has just been something i want to forget i actually saw on tiktok this morning that someone said the October effect was real and I've literally never heard of that and apparently it's a thing and I definitely had it this year so we're just gonna put that all in the past it's a new month I am um, get myself back on track I need to start with sorting out my washing this is a whole pile of clean washing that I need to go through because I've planned all my outfits for my trip but I'm also then going to Amsterdam for a couple of days after so I need to get a flight from Norwich to Amsterdam and then to Hamburg on the way back I'm actually just gonna do the flight back to Amsterdam and then Brad is gonna fly from here and meet me in Amsterdam so we have a couple of nights there so yeah we get like a nice little breakaway as well I'm hoping everything will be like cold and Christmassy really like start off this month on a good note so yeah that is my plans for the rest of this week also these pajamas I feel like I might get questions are from sisters and seekers I'll see if they still have them but I did get these like three four years ago I think <laughs> so this is the carpet that we've literally just had fitted this morning like he's just left um so it's more than fresh and it feels great it's kind of annoying because we have this same carpet upstairs and i already feel like you can feel the difference we've not had it laid for that long but we're obviously like living in a house of dust as well so we need to pop the door on here to keep this as fresh as possible but this is how the snug is looking obviously excuse the wi-fi box up there that won't stay there um but i think last time you saw this room one, it was full of stuff, and two, it was not painted this colour. So we have a Rust-Oleum paint in here, which is called Hessian, which I won't lie, is quite a lot darker than we thought it was. It's always really hard to tell online what a paint colour looks like, and it also pitches completely differently as well. Like, you're never going to know how a paint colour looks in a room until you've painted the whole room. Like, you can't even tell just from the swatches. Um, so it is growing on us, I think, especially with the carpet as well. It's, like, massively lightened it up. But, yeah, that is how this room is looking. All the architraves are new. The coving. Brad put coving up here for the first time. Yeah, that's quite interesting. <laughs> it actually works really well, though. Yeah, it smashed it. Looks great. I don't think you would know. No, you would know. It's, it still looks new. But I would have probably done the whole lot, to be honest. It's great, I think. Yeah, it does look great. Skirting boards are all from Skirt and World. So are the architraves. Yeah. Australian gave us all the paint. Yeah. Cotton. Cotton. We also repainted the radiator with a rust oleum paint as well, just to give them a bit of a freshen up. Brad also tried his hand at like boxing in um, because these pipes were all exposed. Um, like they came down the wall and then they were on the front of the skirt and board. So he re rewired, repiped, what would you say? Replumbed. Replumbed <laughs> the whole radiator and then made this like boxing in so you can't see them all do you remember they were exposed here weren't they with the electrics that went down here as well but well, we got rid of the electric box because that was only for a porch light but we didn't need it so we put all the wires in there boxed them in and all the pipes and then they just came down here with flexi pipe rather than copper because it's just easier to work with this is a gap for a reason because the isolators are there so you can turn the radiators on and off if you want to take it off mm -hmm. It's just easy then for anyone that wants to do it. And then filled this area. I know it's not the greatest of things, but the sofa's going right in, right in the way. Yeah, we're literally going to have a sofa across the whole of this. So you're not really going to see it anyway, but no. it still looks great. Happy? Yeah. This room has literally come together so quick, hasn't it? Yeah, isn't it? So for anyone that hasn't seen like the house tour or anything, there never used to be a wall here. So Brad built this whole section um, to kind of break up this room because... We now have a hallway out here, which actually there's updates in here as well, which I will show you guys. But you used to just walk in the front door and then this was like one big open room. But now we have a separate corridor and a little snug, which is still more than big enough. Like for size reference, it's still a pretty decent size room. Yeah. Now this is 375. That's about three meters. So it's 
Yeah, plenty big enough. We found our sofa that we want, but we haven't ordered it yet, and I think it's gonna take a little while, so. We're just in two minds with sofas because the thought of spending so much money on a thing that you sit on actually kind of hurts my heart. Like, I don't understand why some furniture pieces are just crazy expensive. I know there are places like Sofa Club which are a lot more affordable. Um, we actually had one of their sofas years ago. Mm. So we're just trying to shop around and find something a little bit more reasonably priced. So if you have any recommendations then please let me know because yeah, the thousands of pounds that you can spend on sofas is kind of sickening at this point. Brad also just mentioned as well, there was a door here which we have now taken out and we're just gonna leave it as an archway because then through there will be the extension, so we don't feel like we need a door on here. More for light, isn't it? Yeah. Like when the light comes in from the evening for here, because our garden faces that way, and then we get the evening sun through here, so that'll kind of break through in this area. And then in the hallway, we finally put up the IKEA wardrobes, which Brad is actually going to panel these doors to kind of match the panelling here. Um, and they were, again, so much cheaper to buy the like plain ones rather than the ones with any kind of decor on them. But we got these for like coat storage and shoe storage. Um, so they're actually the shortest depth wardrobes that you can buy from my kit. So I think they're only like 35 centimeters this way. Um, so perfect for shoe racks, which again, these are obviously all from Ikea. But I think you, we can fit like nearly 20 pairs of shoes each in the units. And then we've got a rail here, which you can hang your coats on and you just kind of hang them flat. And then a little shelf up above for like Bonnie's leads or a puppy sleeves. <laughs> yeah. And then we are actually going to box these in. So obviously there's um, some space at the top at the minute, but we're going to raise them off the floor and the then skirt. box them in at the top. And yeah, put the skirting on the bottom as well. So this is how the hallway now looks. And we have the panelling obviously here, which I think you guys have already seen. Um, and the wardrobes on the right, which I bought some cute little handles for as well, which I think are in here. I got these from H&M ages ago, mainly because I have a vase that literally looks exactly the same as these so i thought we could tie that in somehow um but they'll obviously go on the front here when these are all panelled and it just makes so much sense for storage and you've still got a decent amount of space through here obviously when all of this is gone but this is just like mouldings panelling skirting boards architraves clothing you name it we've got it Everything. <laughs> we do need to clear the garage out so we can put it all out there yeah there is that it's just i'm afraid that because our garage is like leaking at the minute this is all MDF, so it's just gonna soak so, up water and bow and... We have got a real big garage issue that we are avoiding every single day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, it's been a while. We have sorted out the lounge. Brad is just ironing the curtains to go up, so that is our next job to do in there. Um, I've had some lunch and I'm now halfway through packing. I'm literally surrounded by stuff, but I think I'm getting there. I feel like I've got like a few outfit options for both Hamburg and Amsterdam. But I'm literally just about to transfer my makeup from here into my new makeup bag, which I got from Refai, and I'm not sure if you guys might have already seen this on TikTok, but apparently it literally like wipes clean. So obviously it's a completely white makeup bag, like the inside and everything. This is the makeup bag. This is just a little cover that it comes with, which is actually kind of cute. Okay, this is what it actually looks like. Um, again, it looks like a linen-y material, like it looks exactly the same, but it just has like a kind of coating on it. 
but yeah apparently this just all inside and everything just wipes clean so obviously you can see the inside of this one it's looking a bit worse for wear i actually got this from georgia when she got married and we were all her bridesmaids she gave us all these really cute makeup bags but i am just going to transfer what i need into this for my trip to kind of test it out and give it a go because if this doesn't stain then that would be great and then i think i'm more or less there with packing i have such an early start tomorrow i think i need to be up at like four because my flight's at 6 a.m so yeah i want to get this all done and then we can chill for the evening also i don't know why i do this every single time but i have just sat and picked my chin and there wasn't even any spots there or anything you know when you just start looking there or anything i feel like there's something there even if there's not like i now will definitely come out in like blotches and red spots which is great anyway i'm gonna get to this and then head down and help brad with the curtains i am more or less packed i've got everything laid out and i've literally just realized that i have actually got 23 kg check-in luggage but i'm still gonna take my um small case and just check it in but at least i don't need to worry about like dividing all of my liquids and stuff because i was stressing about the makeup situation and um, i have just shoved it all in here kind of enjoying this it's very cute so far like obviously i need to test if the like stain thing works like if it doesn't get stained inside but it's nice and roomy like it's literally fit everything in perfectly and it kind of lays flat in the case which is good um and then i've just got my fake little louis vuitton wash bag i got these in turkey and i mean they're honestly insane i've got a bigger version as well um and i feel like you wouldn't know and i didn't want to spend hundreds of pounds on a wash bag that's going to get dirty so i've got my little bag here which i'm going to pack in my hand luggage with my laptop and everything but here is my suitcase um i've got a couple of jumpers that i'm just going to lay over the top and then this is my airport outfit which is just a hero track suit please excuse the mess of this bedroom um obviously i've been packing and i need to sort it all out before i go to bed but i'm actually wearing the black version of the tracksuit that i'm wearing tomorrow i literally just this is not an ad at all but i just filmed my tiktok for hera but i'm obsessed with them i've literally been living in them since i got them but anyway i'm gonna finish packing my washing has literally just finished i think i've got a couple of bits in there that i need to pop in my case and then i'm pretty much done um and then i'm gonna go and help brad sort the curtains like i said earlier um and then have some dinner and then probably try and get an early night but progress i also need to check into my flight because i kind of have like a layover in amsterdam which i'm actually quite looking forward to because it's like over an hour and i'm just gonna sit in the airport and get a bit of work done because i'm gonna take my laptop with me so i can edit along the way um because i need to get some videos out to you guys and i don't want to leave it too long again so yeah <laughs> so red because it is so warm in this room now brad has put the door on this radiator kicks out a lot of heat but it's so nice this room feels so cozy and obviously we don't have a sofa or anything yet but we will get to that i think that'll be our main priority when we are back from amsterdam We've also got the tv light kind of shining on me so sorry it's constantly changing but i think the last time i saw you guys i said we were going to put the curtains up and i mean they are up but they are literally just on the curtain pole and then the curtain pole is literally balanced on like two nails that we've put in the wall because i bought some brackets for them and they've been in the kitchen for literally the longest time and then the other day i was like i'll put these here somewhere safe so i remember where they are no idea where they are i've been literally looking for like two hours and i can't find them so we're gonna sort that out when we are back and yeah i'm really excited to get this like finalized i feel like it's gonna be such a nice room in the house and it'll be really nice to have somewhere to just sit, get all cozy, I can work in here, like, I don't know, it just feels like a lot more progress, and to be fair, massive progress, like, I think when you're renovating sometimes, it's really easy to forget 
how much goes into things, like what it once looked like. Um, Cause sometimes the process can feel quite slow, but then when you look back, like this whole room is completely different. Obviously we've like split it in half, like there's so many changes that have gone on in here. So I'm very happy with how it's coming together. We also, you guys would have seen this earlier, but we obviously have the TV unit in here as well. And this is just the Vesta unit from Ikea. And then again, when we are home, um, we are gonna be like kind of revamping this. I wanna basically buy some ribbed MDF or just anything that kind of looks similar to panel the front of it. And then I've got some little handles to go with it and also some feet to kind of raise it off the floor. But in case you saw that and wondered where it's from, it is just the Ikea unit that I think a lot of people have. But anyway, Brad has just gone out to football and I'm just about ready to go to bed. Obviously I've got a really early start in the morning. So I'm gonna go up, have a shower, wash my hair, and then yeah, try and get an early-ish night. Um, and I will speak to you guys in the morning because I'm obviously gonna bring you to Hamburg and show you everything I get up to. I am looking forward to it, but I think I haven't gone anywhere on my own for so long. So I think you always just take a little bit of time to get back into these things, but I'm sure it'll be good. Um, like I say, I'm determined to make this month a good month. That being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. As always, I will hopefully see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.